Let's talk about it. If this scene didn't hit you, check your pulse. Mina is transporting Kafka to the Neutralization Bureau. She assures him that all of Division 3 stands with him. But what really brought out the tissues was when Kafka asked if he could still stand at Mina's side. She stops being Captain Ashiro and responds with a yes as his longtime friend Mina. Now the problem is proving his humanity to Director General and Kikoru's father, Isao Shinomiya. An immensely strong fighter, he has a combat suit and weapons made from Kaiju No. 2. He attacks Kafka to put that humanity to the test. The problem is Kafka would never be in this kind of situation normally, where he's fighting for his life but also unwilling to attack. Kafka's limbs are literally getting destroyed while running away, not fighting back. Meanwhile, his parasite sees Isao as another kaiju, so all it knows is that for some reason its host is not doing whatever it takes to survive. So the parasite takes control, putting Kafka in a berserker mode. I'll be anxious to see next time if Isao is simply going for the kill, if he's testing Kafka's control limits, or if Kikoru calms the kaiju.